السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, I would like to say thanks to the organizers and the sponsor of this conference such a brilliant event wouldn't happen without the time dedication and support for of everyone involved I would like also to express my deep thanks to Prof. Dr. Mohammed Basil Attai for his collaboration and contribution to brought up this project to the scientific level. I must say it's, it is an honor to be invited to speak here today. It is a great opportunity for all to showcase of their research and discover others uh, uh, and discover what others are creating. Being involved in the Kalam conference has enabled me to understand the importance of encouragement, gaining exposure and further insight into Kalam, which can help to drive focus and patience and lead to the achievement of our goals. Uh, Henry Ford says, if you do what you always did, you will get what you always got. got. We cannot renew the Kalam, and we cannot renew the Kalam. That's what most of the Mutakallimun in the 21st century is saying. Let's move forward from productivity to more effectiveness. Let, let's show results in practical models. Uh, my name is Muharb Rashidi. I'm a data science. Just recently, I just entered the, the Kalam science. Uh, today, we are here to know about Cosmo Kalam platform so that we can take most of it. First, we will discuss what is it. Next, we will discover what can Cosmo Kalam offer us. And then we will learn what are its structure and how it works. And finally, we will discuss what phases are required to implementing it. After this presentation, I'm going to show you a prototype, an Excel sheet how things are, uh, are implemented. I would be happy to answer all any questions uh, you may have at the end of my presentation. The objective of the platform is to develop uh, a, a system using the latest data science and artificial intelligence applications. Uh, that serve the analysis of the, dis the discourse according to the principle of the new Kalam. This will provide an aid in formulating the structural analysis of problem addressed by the new Kalam. What is, what is Cosmo Kalam platform? Cosmo Kalam platform is a system run uh, by certain metrication procedures provided by Professor uh, Dr. Basil Attai in his new approach to Kalam. What are the metrication tools? What we are going to use? We are going to use an advanced data mining in addition to uh, natural language processing and invented correlation packages uh, through the uh, machine learning. And we will go through all these terms definitions on the next slide. Potential users. We are, we are expecting that the Kalam scientists, Arab scientists as well, researchers, students, and also natural scientists to be involved in this platform. What is data science? We hear about data science. 
And we are wondering, what is it? Data science is a core, at the core is data. Data science, it's a multidiscipline blend of inference, algorithm development, and technology, and technology in order to solve analytical uh, complex problems. Data science is ultimately about using this data in creative ways to generate, uh, to generate a great value. What is the value? Which is the new kalam? Natural, uh, natural language processing, what is it and why it matters? As a human, we may, you may speak and write in English, Arabic, and Spanish, or Chinese, but a computer, a native language, known as machine codes or machine language is largely incomprehensible to most people. At your device, a lowest level, communications occur not with words, but through millions of zeros and ones and ones that produce logical action. Natural language processing helps computer communicate with a human in their own language. Uh, science uh, scales other language related tasks. For example, natural language processing makes it possible for computer to read text, hear speech, interpret, measure uh, syntax, and determine which parts are important. Natural language processing <coughs> goes hand in hand with text analytics which, uh, uh, which uh, counts, groups, and categorizes words to extract structure and meaning from large volume of content. What is machine learning? Uh, we are just trying to explain the most terms in our platform. What is machine learning? Machine learning is, term, is a term associated with data science. It refers to a broad class of methods that revolve around data modeling to algorithmically make predictions and algorithmically sphere patterns in data. What can Cosmo Kalam offer us? As it is a system and we need something, benefits out of it. Building technical structure based on philosophical model of the new Kalam approach using the techniques of data science, artificial intelligence, and redefine matrix design particularly. Develop a flexible window of scientists to provide their scientist input based on the new Kalam approach. We will uh, go through a metrication procedure after this slide and the next slides. Centralized govern, uh, governance area of scientists' mind, as you guys and you gentlemen. Creative thoughts and unify efforts to formulate a renewable system of life that regulate the relationship between religion and science. Building a sophisticated and manageable model which can be uh, widespread and extended to all communities with different cultures and language. Reliable, of course it's reliable, it is a system and open source of information for all research interested parties as well as for public. Cosmo Kalam platform structure. We will start with the Quran database 
And it's not only for Quran. It's all it's for all mutakallimun books, research paper, and we might have also Arabic dictionaries and also uh, other tafsir books and uh, any related subject to kalam. We will extract the data to the main kalam interface. This interface will have a certain level of metrication procedure that will uh, analyze the text that you brought it from the database, whether from Mutakallimun, from the main source Quran, or from Hadith. And the step number two, we will have an interactive gate from you gentlemen, from the scientist, from the research, to feed the system by your opinions, by, by your approach, and, and measure it on the Kalam main interface. At the end, all these data and information and analysis will be stored in the, in the uh, data storage. Platform analysis process. Is it clear for you? Yeah. We have a database. On the other side, we have an interactive gate and both of the uh, 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 the interface will be measured on the Kalam inter main interface and then stored on the data storage. Metrication procedures. The platform analysis process, this is the process, the, uh, the main process, the text, then we conduct a Kalam analysis, then a wording analysis, then we, uh, final, we, we uh, finalize our judgment based on the analysis of the uh, result analysis. The uh, metrication procedure, it is a preliminary idea, still a sketch, and we will have further enhancement on it. And we will have multi-metrication procedure for different types of, uh, of kalam. <clears throat> I mean, daqiq al-kalam and jaleel al-kalam. First, we'll, uh, the, the text identify primary words, and then primary word analysis. Then we conduct a comparison between these words, and then we build our analysis framework. We analyze our results, then we confirm the results, and then after that, we make our final judgment and classification, whether in daqiq al-kalam and which specific uh, principle that applied on that text. Platform improvement phases. We will start first with the Quran database. Then uh, we, will, we are going to apply, uh, we are going to design the Kalam main interface for Daqiq al-Kalam only because Daqiq al-Kalam is based on science which can be uh, designed according, according to mathematics and according to theories uh, which is much easier to, to design uh, rather than the Jalil al-Kalam which have a lot of arguments. Once we uh, succeed with this, we will move to Jalil al-Kalam. The third phase will be development of user inter uh, interactive gates. Then we will give you the window to feed the system with your opinions. And of course, from the database, you can extract all mutakallimun opinions and approach from all century, whether, uh, whether from old mutakallimun and, whether, uh, and uh, the late mutakallimun. The phase number four, development of Jalil al-Kalam interface, and this is, will be a big milestone of this project. Phase number five, we are going to develop uh, an artificial intelligence and machine learning application. 
the reason behind this, to let the system think and predict your analysis. In the future, after we feed, after we, we feed the system with many concepts and approach, analysis, results, confirmation, the system will understand more than, more than normal human because the system has a big brain that can accommodate all box, research, thoughts, analysis, and can predict more than the normal human. So we need to think in a wide range. We need to think out of the box. Then we will face number th uh, six, will be hadith uh, database development. Of course, we'll take all hadith and will be stored in the database, and you can just extract the uh, hadith and conduct your analysis, feed the, feed the system by hadith, and of course, we'll be subject to metrication procedure and main, uh, on the Kalam uh, main interface. The, those metrication procedures, you can set your metrication. You can set your thoughts, analysis, and let the system understand this, and let others also uh, share their comments about your analysis and final judgment. I think this opportunity, this great event, we have done many a brainstorm when we sit together, and we can, we came up with a lot of ideas, which is very nice. Imagine you have this a complete system that you, you can feed it any time, 24, seven days. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I think we agreed also to add a stage where we developed a system for identifying the signature of hadith. Exactly. This is a way where you can authenticate hadith with the help of artificial intelligence. Sorry. Exactly. Sorry to interrupt. No, thank, thank you, Mr. Dr. Attai, for this comments. Uh, this is my end of my presentation. I'm going to show you something. I know uh, you like it. <laughs> I'm going to show you something, a symbol, a prototype done through Excel sheet. Uh, I just make the, the presentation short because everybody here is looking for the lunch. Uh, uh, okay, let's, let's open the, yeah, this, this is it. Yeah, okay. I, I want to see this part also. No, no, just try to do it. This is a preliminary exit sheet, but in the end it will not be executed. Yeah. It will be a complete Yeah, this is it. So this that's is Okay. R and, and Python language. Python. Yeah. Python. Actually, I, I have started with a taqweer, Surah to taqweer and I have done this uh, based on my basic information. I don't have any fundamentals in Kalam, but of course, with, with help you gentlemen, with your assistance, on top of this, uh, Professor Dr. Basil Attai and other professor, professors who are interesting to develop this system. You can see on the right, on the left side, okay. We can see on the left side, the surah, the number of surah, you can just grow th go through it and just choose any one of these surah to, can, to conduct your, your analysis. And then you will see, when you click on Surah, you will see the ayat, all ayat of Surah. Uh, we will stick to a taqweer only because I just have the uh, analysis for, for this particular Surah. Uh, and then we have the value, constant value, zero and one, on the top of this uh, box, which is daqiq uh, al-kalam and jaleel al-kalam and daqiq to jaleel, and jaleel to daqiq, and all of, of course, natural uh, text, some of the stories in Quran, which is not uh, belongs to 
دقيق وجليل. So when you click on any one of this, for example, if you want to see what is applicable for دقيق, you just click one, you will see the system filtered, filtered the دقيق only, and you will see on the right side the principles of دقيق and جليل as well. So you will see the first principle, temporality, discreteness, and the uh, space and time, and also Jalil. We still have to improve the Jalil. It's just a preliminary idea. If you click for the first principle, one, it will filter only the ayah which is applicable for this principle. If you want to choose another one, you just take the filter and click on the other principle, you will see this ayah, I cannot see it from here. This is uh, my assumption and my analysis. Um, uh, forgive me for this, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, aware. I don't have even the fundamentals of kalam. Uh, of course. Naam, with respect to you, Professor Ta'i, this, this example is done, uh, is done by, by me in collaboration with Professor Ta'i, but the judgment of the analysis done, I have conducted myself. Uh, and you can see that when you click on any one of these, you will see that the system will just filter wherever you click. Let's, let's move to the database. Quran database, when you click on it, uh, it's big, it's the whole Quran. Yeah, and using the Excel, Excel is a flat database, so it's not 3D or 4D database. around uh, 500,000 information in this system. So you can filter here. Let's take a taqweer. Anyway, uh, This is ayat with, with tashkil and without tashkil. And I have segregated the words of ayah for each column. So you can choose, for example, Ar-Rahman. When you click on it, you will see uh, principles of daqiq, uh, daqiq uh, al-kalam. And you, when you click on one of these principles, the system will understand that you have selected these words and translated to, to the uh, Cosmo Kalam platform, which is here, and says this is one under this particular uh, principle. And of course, this is, will not be applicable on the other one. See, this is what we have selected. There is nothing here on Jalil al-Kalam because it's daqiq only. We have also uh, an index that shows the metrication procedure where you can set your analysis here uh, based on ayah number, you can choose uh, the principles, you can change the principles if you, you are not uh, convenient. And then you can categorize it with Aranjalil or Daqiq or Daqiq and this is, will be of course read by the system. Uh, this is in general the system and uh, I will be uh, so happy if I hear any question about the system that will improve the system and uh, moving uh, up to the next level. 
Thank you, gentlemen.